Good afternoon, good evening, this is John Paul Wright. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. I want to give a quick shout out to Star Wars Insights because on this channel I saw a video I'm going to react to. And for what it's worth, quick shout out to SC Reviews because he gave me a shout out in his video about this. By the way, before we start, this video now is sitting at 1,673 likes and 846 dislikes. It's on the official Marvel channel that has 11 million subscribers. It is a very cringy video. I haven't actually seen the entire thing, but I've seen parts of it. It's four minutes. I'll react to it the best I can. Then I'll say a few words about this little cringy thing. Hey guys, it's Judy Stevens from The Woman of Marvel, and we're going to do some unboxing today because it's all Captain Marvel all the time, including me hanging out with my best friend Goose, because don't you all love cats? Okay, what's first? Legends, Captain Marvel, she's holding Goose. Let's just keep the Goose theme going throughout the day if you've watched anything with me. So one of the cool things about Hasbro Marvel Legends is that they all come with an additional piece that you can build. Here's an arm. That's actually really heavy. Carol holding Goose. I'm just gonna, oh my God. Her jacket with the detail on the back is really cool. Goose and Carol, Captain Marvel. This will be a great scene. If you've seen the movie, you haven't seen the movie, you'll see it. Next, <gasps> t-shirt. This is definitely for like a preteen. Yeah. yeah. So this is for all those young girls or boys that you know that would love to rock this. Super casual, just a little style. It's got her uh, logo, her star logo. Plus, I really love the colors. It's very vintage. It's a scroll. So it's Talos. And He's like one of my favorite parts in the film. In his amazing uh, scroll makeup, uh, scrolls, if you don't know, can uh, take the appearance uh, of any person or thing they see. He's so cute with his little bobbly head. He bobbles. There are so many Funko Pops for this film. Uh, I own uh, many of them already. Okay, next up. <gasps> Oh my god! Look at this amazing outfit for your young girl or boy. Uh, super cute, very casual. And then they can rock it with this amazing skirt, which I wish came in my size. Any girl or boy wants to be uh, a hero princess, so I feel like this would totally be that, that type of thing. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Whenever I go into Walmart, I always go to the kids section. I buy too many clothes. I love this. This is like my favorite thing in the world. She's in her Star Force outfit, Captain Marvel, with the with the helmet. There you go. I just got that in my water, so I'm not sure if I'm drinking my water anymore. This style doll that they came out uh, last fall for Rising. They're super poseable. Look, you can take her boots off. That's cool. Um, there's a couple other versions of these, so you could probably like put the red boots on, and like rock it, and then you can. Uh oh. Ha ha. Look at that, she looks so cool. She's got her mohawk, she's rocking that Joe Quesada helmet look, which is amazing. Look, I'm gonna pose her, I'm posing her. Now she's truly Captain Marvel. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a Walmart exclusive one uh, Funko Pop. It glows in the dark. Every single one of the Funko Pops that have been coming out for this film is epic and amazing. Look, she's got her, her glowy fists. She's got her bobbly head. She is ready to go kick some butt uh, in the film or elsewhere. You can add this to your entire Funko collection because there's so many of them. This is Goose. Goose is the best. Goose also does. It's Hasbro. <laughs> so this is a Hasbro Goose. Um, you can buy it for your kids. You can buy it for yourself. You can put it on your desk at work if you would like. And then when people come by, you can just be like, hello. So this is a flurkin. For those who don't know, uh, a flurkin is an alien in, in the Marvel Universe um, and has tentacles inside of it and can eat things. This is how cats take over the world. You didn't know it yet, but you know now. So make sure you guys go check out all this stuff over at Walmart. Uh, uh, there's even more. Uh, and tweet at us and let us know what you guys are loving, um, what you're purchasing. Uh, take photos of yourself wearing it. Uh, or playing with it or putting it on your desk or all that jazz. Just go get it. This is Captain Marvel and she's the best. Also Goose. Oh man, that was real. I I am really 
actually cringing. Like I, I really, like my eyes and like my, I, I was actually cringing. So the big controversy is, aside from this chick being really weird and her hair is like really screwy, that's just my personal opinion, <laughs> just my personal opinion. I don't even have all my hair and I'm making fun of someone's hair, but just saying, you know, does she have to say a little boy could wear a skirt? Is that really the point we're getting to? I mean, okay, if they want it to be for girls, market it for girls, and okay, I'll, I'll get that. I'll at least get where you're coming from. You want a superhero for girls. But don't try to add in like, well, your son can wear this too. You think I would put my son in a Captain Marvel skirt? How much would you have to pay me to do that? Honestly, I mean, how much would you have to pay me to, let's say, have my son go to school in that skirt? I guess for some amount of life-changing money, I'd do it. A thousand bucks? I don't know, probably not. Two thousand? Three thousand? A couple of thousand? Ah, uh, I don't know, man. It would really have to be, like, life-changing money to get me to actually have my son wear that to school or something like that. I'd say starting in the, like, multiple 50, 60, 70,000 that's actually going to change our lives moving forward. Then I guess we could suck it up and move on. And not for nothing, it's pretty boring. It was just Captain Marvel and the cat. And this, a scroll, okay, a scroll or something. It's just very boring. Like when I was into G.I. Joe, when I was a kid, and He-Man, and even Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff like that, Star Wars of course, there's so many different diverse characters, all this stuff to get into. This is just Captain Marvel vs. the Scrolls with a cat. They didn't even show Nick Fury in the video, did they? I didn't see him, I don't think so, not that I remember. Jeez, just just boring, just bland. This is what I'm saying. Aside from not liking Brie Larson, uh, it's just very bland looking stuff. Bland, bland, bland. Okay, I said that enough. Anyway, you guys let me know what you think of that down below. I do shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. I will see you next time. <laughs>